Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be like a build log. Um, I'm going to try and do it in one part, might be in two parts. Um, but basically a friend of mine who shoots on a 6K Dragon uh, shoots uh, two hour documentaries. Sometimes he has up to, you know, 30 hours worth of footage. Um, and he's looking to upgrade his machine. Currently he's using like an old 2009 Mac Pro. It's a six core. So um, we're looking to really bump up those specs for him. Uh, minimal budget. Um, I guess everyone spends all their money on the camera gear and not on the computer. But um, budget's roughly about 2,700 US. Uh, works out to be you know 3,800 Australian. Um, so we dove in and had a look at what his options were uh, and how far we could take it. One thing we did start to look at, we looked at PC part pickup and we tried to configure the ultimate uh, machine within the budget. So we configured a, a 6700K, which is only a quad core. Um, processor uh, machine on the Z170 platform um, and we'll, we came under budget and he was happy to look into maybe spending a little bit more um, money in that so then we looked at we went one step further and uh, looked at the X99 platform first we configured it with like a 10 core 6950 X um, but the build came probably about $900 over than what he really wanted to spend on that. Further then we downgraded that processor and went to a 6900K, uh, still pushing that 2700 um, sort of budget uh, up to the 3000 mark. Uh, so we spent some time thinking about what the actual options were and um, he had sort of mentioned something about uh, finding maybe a Dell Precision and then upgrading that. But um, we ended up jumping on eBay <coughs> and we found a Dell Precision T78 10 bare bone uh, system. That was only 595 <coughs> US and that included um, case, motherboard, cooling, um, windows, uh, power supply. It really gave us larger options when uh, configuring the machine since all of those uh, came to 600 US, where else if we were to purchase them more separately, we're looking at just those components were coming into, you know, 1800 US. So it gave us a lot of freedom into what we could pick and choose for the configuration since uh, those parts from PC Part Picker were close to 1800, where else the Dell Precision was only 600. So we went ahead and purchased that deal, along with a few other components that we were looking for. So let's run over the specs now. Um, we ended up purchasing a Dell Precision T7810. Uh, it's gonna have two E52673 V3 processors. Uh, they're a 12 core 2.4 gigahertz uh, each, so it gives us a total of 24 cores and 48 threads. Uh, well, we got 96 gigabyte of DDR4 2133 MHz RAM, um, ECC enabled, um, a GDX 1080 8 gigabyte, a 256 gigabyte Intel 600P, uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro for a HDMI 10 bit output, um, and Windows 10 Pro. And all that came to uh, exactly 2700 US, uh, roughly about 3790 Australian. Okay, so now let's uh, run through some unboxing and the build. I uh, hope you enjoy.
Okay, thanks for watching. So uh, hopefully you take away some of our thought process there uh, and it helped you maybe not dive into those really expensive i7 uh, processors. Uh, not saying that they're not good, just maybe they're not for everyone. Um, and we ended up building a, a probably a much powerful, mach a lot more powerful machine at a little bit of a cheaper cost. Okay, so next video, so it will be part two of this, will be our four core, uh, four gigahertz test bench up against the 24 core, 2.4 gigahertz um, Dell Precision. So we're gonna see um, cores versus clock, what's the comparison, comparison there? And the price difference was only about 600 US. So uh, we'll see if we can squeeze 600 US performance out of that. So until next time, please subscribe, like, dislike, either way, um, let us know what you feel. Uh, until next time.